this is Dr. William Nordquist, and today we're going to be talking about implants on some of the most, or one of the most complicated cases that there is. Uh, this poor patient came in with fixed teeth. Obviously, it spent a lot of money on his teeth, and unfortunately, uh, the teeth were not supported anymore, and several were swinging in the breeze, so we had to remove them all. So what this case is going to be is replacing teeth both upper and lower arch. It's a complete upper and lower fixed implant supported with fixed teeth that don't come out. So here's the case. And so many times patients come in and they procrastinated for years. And even after they spent a lot of money on their teeth that they just can't believe that their teeth are going bad. But the day finally comes when they come in. And, and as you can see, there's a lot of bone loss in this area here. And uh, there's down here, bone loss across here. This tooth is completely swinging in the breeze. This one had lost most of its bones. So the decision was made that uh, this was a hopeless case. So we need to extract all the teeth. And so we extract the teeth and then we graft the sockets and then we wait several months for everything to heal. And over here, you can see that there we got beautiful bone here, uh, both upper and lower for implants. And so we continue with that and place implants into this situation. I'm not going to go in with the whole procedure off with the dentist. I have a full lecture on this case, but just for a little short, we're not going to go through all the details. I'm just going to show you the, the final results of this case and what we can accomplish with people that lose all their teeth and uh, come up with fixed teeth that are beautiful and, that, and has the possibility of lasting the rest of a patient's life. After the extractions, the poor patient looks in the mirror and, and sees his mouth that looks like this. And obviously there's, um, there's, there's no, no teeth. I mean, the, the, the level of bone is fairly low. Down here, you can barely see the ridge. It's underneath between the gum and the lip here. And so we're gonna take this and place implants into it and restore this to complete function. It take, this takes several months up to a year to complete a case as complicated as this. So here you can see the implants. And at this point, it's taken about a year because we extracted teeth, uh, we grafted them, we waited four to six months to place the implants, we placed the implants, and then you wait another four to five months for the implants to take. And now we're ready to take uh, impressions of these implants and make the final fixed teeth. This represents the final, the day the patient came in for their teeth after waiting a year with great anticipation because we tried them in and they all fit beautifully and the contour is good, the aesthetics is good. So then we cement these in permanently. These do not come out. These chew just like natural teeth and uh, when a patient, when they smile, it smiles like natural teeth. And I'm going to show you the next picture, which is the final shot of this case. Okay, so here's the final smile, and uh, the patient looks into the mirror and, and sees that after all the failure they've had with their teeth, and here they are now with a complete change of life with teeth that they can chew with naturally. They're fixed. They don't come out, and uh, this patient can go on with their life and not have to worry about their teeth. Of course, we require our patients like this to come in on a regular basis for me to check to make sure that um, the same thing doesn't happen to the implants that happen to their natural teeth. So hygiene is very important. And these things are all gone over with the patient before they leave. And so this is, this is one of the most complicated cases that you can get. It takes about a year, but the results can last for a lifetime. Okay, just to sum up this case, the patient presented with complete failed fixed uh, crown and bridge that he'd had for a number of years, and of course, with procrastination and bad diet and whatever, uh, he ended up losing all his teeth. And so we had to start a complex procedure of extracting the teeth, graft the sockets, grow the bone, it takes about six months for that to happen. And then we place implants and we, again, wait. Uh, we don't believe in uh, the, the implants in a day and teeth in a day because if you have a failure, it's a, usually a big failure and we don't like failure at all. So we just take our time, takes about a year. And then uh, when the implants are finally totally integrated and healthy, then we make the final teeth and deliver them. 
And that way we're assured that after all that work that we can have a very happy patient, successful implants that we feel can last quite a number of years, if not a lifetime. So thank you for your attention. And um, uh, we're here ready to take care of you. So give us a call and uh, we love what we do. And so thank you for uh, listening and being patient with my presentation.